Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie, I'm a graphic designer and in today's tutorial we're going to go over the spiral tool in Adobe Illustrator. The spiral tool lets you create and modify spiral paths. So let's open Adobe Illustrator, set our stroke to black or whatever color you prefer and the fill to none. Then we're going to go here and select the spiral tool. Now click and drag anywhere on the artboard to create a spiral path. This will have preset settings. To customize your spiral, click anywhere on the artboard once using the spiral tool and it will open the spiral dialog box. Here you can customize the tool's radius, decay, segments, and style settings. The radius is applied to the first and largest segment of the spiral. The decay is the percentage of reduction that each of the other segments following the first one is going to have. Then we have segments, which is going to be the number of segments that are going to compose our spiral. And then we have style, where you decide the direction of your spiral. Once you've customized the settings, click OK. Then you can use the selection tool to rotate your spiral scale it up or down or click and drag to move it wherever you want on the artboard. If you like, you can continue the design by using the pen tool. So select the pen tool, click on the first anchor point of the spiral and start creating a line. In this case, I'm going to create a curved line by clicking and dragging and then create a second anchor point by clicking and dragging. Also, you can modify any of the anchor points by using the direct selection tool. Click on the anchor point you want to modify and you can move it by dragging it or you can modify the path shape by using the anchor point handles. If you want to annul any of your last movements, just hit Ctrl Z on the keyboard. Now that you've created your unique spiral design, you can decide to modify the width of the stroke. So select the path, go to the stroke width, and here you can select the points you want the width to have. For this example, I'm going to use 20 points. So I'm going to select the spiral, go to stroke, and select 20 points. You can also personalize the line width by using the width tool. Click and drag anywhere on your path to make it larger or smaller. If you drag inward, it will make it smaller. And if you click and drag outward, it'll make it thicker. For this effect, I'm going to make the starting and ending point thin and leave the center part of the stroke thicker. Let's create a second spiral example. So let's use the spiral tool. Click anywhere on the artboard to open the spiral dialog box. Enter your settings and click OK. This time I'm going to create an Aries type icon. So I'm going to use the pen tool to click on the first anchor point of the spiral and just draw a straight line that goes down. Now again, I'm going to change the width, so I'm going to select the design, go to the stroke width, and choose 20 points again. If you like, you can change the stroke color. I'm just going to keep the black. And then I'm going to use the width tool again to make the starting and ending point thin and leave the center part thick. This is the first part of the design. So I'm going to select it, make it a little bit smaller by scaling it down. Drag it over. And then while it's selected, I'm going to use the reflection tool to make a vertical reflection of this design. Then I'm going to drag it over so the two straight lines overlap. And here we have a super easy spiral icon that kind of looks like the Aries symbol. If you like, you can add more shapes to expand your design. 
Just use your creativity. So now that we've seen how to continue a spiral design, I'm going to show you how to subtract parts of the spiral, if you like. So open a new artboard and create a spiral. This time I'm just going to click and drag and create a preset spiral. So if you're creating a design where you need to delete part of the spiral, you can use the scissor tool over here. Click on the scissor tool and click anywhere on the path to create a cut. I'm going to click this anchor point and then click anywhere to create a second cut. It doesn't have to be on an anchor point. Then select the cut segment with the direct selection tool and delete. This way, if you have to, you can delete parts of the spiral. Or if you're creating a design where you don't want to delete part of the spiral, but you just want to separate two parts, you can use the scissor tool, click on the path where you want to divide the spiral, then use the selection tool to select the part of the line that you want to move. Click and drag to wherever you need. I hope this tutorial was useful. Thank you for watching and if you need any help just drop a comment and I'll try to make a tutorial as soon as possible. Also if you enjoy my videos don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Ciao!